This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at chiral auxiliaries. Taxol, which is a drug used to treat cancer, is a chiral molecule. It has 11 chiral carbon atoms. A chiral carbon atom is a carbon atom that's bonded to four different atoms or groups. So on the left, we can see the structure of taxol. Each red asterisk shows the position of a chiral carbon atom in the molecule. Because taxol has so many chiral carbon atoms, it can exist as a large number of enantiomers, which are mirror images of each other. The different enantiomers may produce harmful effects in the human body. It is possible to isolate the desired enantiomer from a racemic mixture, but this process creates waste. An alternative method is to use a chiral auxiliary, which is known as asymmetric synthesis. The chiral auxiliary, which itself is a chiral molecule, attaches to the non-chiral reactant molecule, enabling the desired enantiomer to be produced. Once the desired enantiomer has been produced, the chiral auxiliary is removed and recycled. The different enantiomers can be distinguished between using a polarimeter. The first step is to pass plain polarized light through the solution. An analyzer is used to determine the angle of rotation of the plane of the plane polarized light. The different enantiomers rotate the plane of plane polarized light by the same angle but in opposite directions.